Hey, MMK, back today, and you're not going to believe this. A lot of you know who this is, uh, and a lot of you may not, but this is my wife, Teresa. Uh, yes, she's actually, <laughs> actually in a video. But she must have woke up on the wrong side of the bed or something. But anyway, she uh, she's with me today, and uh, we're going to talk about a few things. Uh, one of the things, in the question that come in, did Elvis own sheepdogs? And yes, he did. Uh their names was Oslaw and Woosh. Uh, they were big sheep dogs. And uh, I remember in front of our trailer that they had first, when they first put it out, they had put sand out uh, before the grass really started growing and stuff. And of course, grass was growing up a little bit through it. But we used to play uh, football, uh, me, uh, Rory, uh, cousin Jimmy Gamble, and uh, just some other boys around the neighborhood. And we'd play football. And it was almost like we, we had our own defense because the dogs would get out there and they were so big they they would knock us down trip us uh and we just we had a we had a blast with them and uh, another thing was asked what kind of dogs or animals uh do we like and of course you know me i mean i've you know we've had dogs we still got a dog i had a pet pig chops who passed away a while back uh McCall. i've had yeah i've had a blue and gold mccall uh named rowdy that me and Teresa had uh and uh just cats yeah i love i guess the question being though uh, probably I, i've got to say my favorite dog that 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 i love and that i've ever owned is is a boxer mm -hmm. uh matter of fact joey still got one that that i had got for him uh named prancy and she still I, and hopefully we'll put her in the video she loves to ride on the side by side I, I her mean, feelings she, will get hurt. yeah, her feelings get hurt. If you don't but, save but, her a spot, yeah, she loves it. But uh, just different kinds. What I know, you love the French bulldog, right? Yeah, I do. I do. Uh, one day, you know, you owe me a puppy. So yeah, maybe one day. Yeah. And uh, mom and dad, of course, mom. Uh, she's got the uh, little. Uh, I'm sorry, Pomeranian. Pomeranian. Baba. Yeah, Baba is getting older. But mom, mom said if she ever, ever gets another puppy she wants a little female pug puppy that they're just they're so cute yeah. uh we'll have to have a dad he he had a little dog like uh like uh Suki, I'm, I'm losing Schnauzer. yeah he, he was a schnauzer uh so i mean they little dogs be, through our life we've had you know big dogs and little dogs but hopefully that that answered the question on the on the dogs uh Let's go talk a little bit. I uh, thought it was a cute little story. I was I just popped in my mind. I was thinking about me and you was talking about this morning. We used to, of course, we'd sit up, play, ride golf carts, and then just, you know, play out at Graceland to all hours of the night and over into the morning, the same schedule, you know, that the group always had. And uh, then, you know, we'd go to bed to be over in the morning. Well, Lisa would always wake up early. And she would drive her golf cart around our trailer and bang on the bedroom. Mine and Joey's bedroom were, were side by side. And of course, you know, Rory Miller, uh, Bernie's girlfriend, Sandy's son, uh, was my best friend at the time. And uh, he pretty much lived at, at our house with us. And like I said, we, we'd all be asleep and she'd tap and then drive around and she'd holler. And, and I know this is gonna sound weird to y'all, but we had a nickname that we, we just called each other Murd Turds. Yeah, that's right, you heard me right. Murd turns. <laughs> Don't ask me why, but but anyway, she'd bang the trailer and holler, "Get up, you murds! Get up, murd turns!" And, and and do that till we finally got up, and then of course we'd go out and and start a whole whole another day. So <laughs> thought I'd share that cute little story with you. Uh, another question that that come in uh, was if I would ever go back inside Grayson again, uh, and and be honest with you, I've talked about it. In, uh, in a lot of videos, and me and Teresa's talked about it. Uh, it's Graceland's just Graceland's beautiful, and don't get me wrong, I want everybody to see it if you hadn't seen it, and if you have, just you know, keep seeing it. But to me, uh, Graceland is just it's, it's not the same as it was. Graceland was, was a home, was a uh, paradise, or a, a, like a festival park or amusement park wherever you want to call it it was just home and uh it's just i mean to see it now it, it's just it's not in a bad way but to me it's just different if that makes sense it, it's, it's not like you left it right it's more it's more of a business and 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 but you you know we can all understand that but uh 
get back to the, the question, would I ever go back to Graceland? Yes, I'm going to go back at least one more time. Uh, and that reason being because <laughs> Teresa, I've never been. she's never been to uh, Graceland and she wants to see it. And I'd, lo I'd love for us to, to see it together. So we're going to plan on uh, doing that. And, and to, uh, uh, for those of you who don't know it, uh, Teresa, your your mother was a big Elvis fan. She was. Fan. We would, uh, I can remember every Sunday, uh, Elvis movie would come on and we'd watch it. It was kind of her thing. She liked to do that. And I, I like to aggravate my dad by buying her something Elvis for Christmas every year. He'd act like he was all jealous. <laughs> well, he probably, well, he's probably like a lot of men. They, they loved Elvis too, but they wouldn't admit it. You know, some of them right. wouldn't admit it. Yeah. But, uh, <coughs> excuse me, still a little bit of that stuff. But, uh, you know, we went up to uh, Meditations Garden uh, uh, not too awful long ago with some friends. And we walked up, and I, I talked about a little bit of that uh, uh, up around the grave site. And uh, we actually, uh, I say we, Teresa actually, what, what did you do for, for? Oh, I wrote my mom's name on the wall because she never, she wanted to go, but I don't think she ever got to go. She and her sisters wanted to go, so I wrote her name on the wall. So, I mean, in, in, until they clean it, I guess, or, or if they do. But but Teresa wanted, and I thought that was a great thing to put put her name on the uh, on the wall. And uh, the next thing I wanted to talk about was, uh, and Spy Guy kind of touched on it a little bit, uh, of the Elvis Con, and, uh, and, and he was actually right. Uh, it was late 70s, 78, 79, but, but the Elvis Festival started. And for those of you who never got to do it or see it, I wanted to kind of tell you about it. Those of you that was there and friends and all when I go to talking to I hopefully it brings back some good memories because we had a lot but just to kind of touch on it they did uh, all kinds of things I, I know uh, one night they had all night uh, Elvis uh, movies and and the tour movies uh, that's the way it is on tour and uh, we went with uh, friends Debbie Brown you was there <laughs> matter of fact uh, Debbie and a friend of hers and uh, uh, Travis a friend of ours had a van and uh, they took me and Rory and Joey, and we all we went and did that uh, and watched the movies and, and fantastic. They also they they had all kinds of stuff. They had uh, at at the hotels Days Inn, especially on Brooks Road, had a big uh, to do. It started out like I said for a couple of days, and then it become Elvis Week. But back then, it people they would have different things, but they would all set up, and people would would make. Uh, buttons uh dish towels blankets just all kinds of stuff and they they would actually trade and and sell and then they had speakers uh of course they had to pull open and, and us being teenagers and stuff well you know we loved swimming and, and then uh teresa had brought up a, a a good question when we was talking about other and there was uh there was uh a lot of the the folks had kids and uh, our age and, and some younger some older and, and but we yeah we all hung up hung out together and become friends and we look for you know each and every year i know at the admiral benbow uh they had a big festival over there and the same thing and, and like i said just anything and everything elvis you wanted i mean from from elvis panties to rock up pop up books just i mean i wonder if any of that stuff's still around that would be cool i'm sure a lot of collectibles a lot of you may know what i'm talking about i mean they had they had a lot of stuff back then that was was fantastic they uh didn't they run some contests yes uh days in they would run contests and actually me and and i'm sorry we're dead and me and and there was one other person i can't remember now who but uh we were actually the judges that year they had every year what they would do is decorate the the windows at the days in the the hotel room windows and they would decorate it in the elvis theme the person who was staying in that room right decorate the each person yeah each person and, and we had a contest and we went by and judged but but the whole place was full and you know, on every level and it was all just anything elvis you could think of I mean, like posters or or well at that they, i mean they put some would put posters and pictures some just come up with their own designs uh uh i know uh, two of my favorite that stand out, which was uh, good friends of of mine, uh, two different sets of people. Uh, one was the uh, they did an army thing, and Alice, you know, I'm talking about you. <laughs> and then uh, they uh, another set of friends did a uh, blue Christmas that was just that was beautiful. 
Uh, like I said, during those times, I mean, ever just you, you hung out all night long. I mean, it, it. I wished I could really bring it to you because it was just something that that. Of course, even today, that's what's amazing. Still look forward to it. But that's almost like what I just grew up on for all those years up until, like I said, today. And John, as Spy Guy said, is uh, is trying to bring it bring it back uh, as close as what it was and, and even better. And he's doing an excellent job. And we've really, really enjoyed it. I wonder if people from then have pictures of those windows, of, the, of those sites. If you have them and you want to send them a copy of it, you know, maybe we could share them on, on a video. You know, that's fantastic. I didn't think Do about that. that. Yeah. If you, you know, send a copy of a picture, maybe the windows are, are back then. And if it's your picture and you don't mind us sharing it, that would be great. And I'm, I'm you know, and maybe we, like I said, maybe, you know, can look back and dig through, but like, like I said, they had all kinds of, uh, uh, different things. Kind of like what Grayson, this is before, way before Grayson ever, you know, got involved or opened up to whatever. I'm, and, and it, but it was just, I, you know, to meet and to see the people that you've known your whole life and, 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 and God bless them. A lot of them are, are, are not with us today. And a lot of you are, but we all hang in there and, and remember, uh, that's just like the birthday, you know, I was talking with some people and, and we remember, you know, some, some good friends and stuff that that's is no longer with us and just brought up happy memories and crazy things that, that we did or said. And I, to me, that's uh, that's a part of my life I never ever want to give up. And as long as I'm able, you know, I'm, I want to share it with my Elvis family. So, uh, Teresa, you, like I said once again, I have the <laughs> Teresa. <laughs> but you, you have anything else? I don't think so. All right. Well, with that, uh, I want to say, hey, uh, I, I do want to do do something that stands out on my mind. They don't get it. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to to uh, law enforcement, first responders, and especially our military, yeah. uh, stand up and I'm very, very proud. I, I, I salute each and every one of you for the job you do. Cause it's, it's, it's a hard job. It's not noticed. Uh, and a lot of people, unless you're close to it or in, or in that field, you know, uh, it's not, <laughs> it's sure not about the money. Uh, and we just top it. I'm sorry, we just stop sometimes and take for granted uh, that these people put their lives on the line at, uh, for us. And, and also, a lot of you know, those that don't, uh, my brother's a police officer. And uh, brother, you already know I love you, but we appreciate what you do and all the fellow brothers in the uh, police department does and law enforcement. And we just, we want to thank y'all. And with that being said, hey, we're going to cut out. We're going to get mom and dad back, hopefully in the next video. Teresa, what do we always say? We always, always live Elvis. Elvis.